Good morning everyone. Welcome to the video of our wireless demo. Let me first explain what we have on the two tables and what equipments we are using. So on these two tables we see a bunch of five laptops, three over here and uh, two over here. And we have connected the display of this laptop to a big screen monitor so that we can watch the videos nicely. Now each one of these laptops is connected to a warp board, just like this I'm holding in my hand. These warp boards are essentially software-defined radios from Rice University. They can transmit at different power levels as well as different modulation schemes such as BPSK, QPSK and so on. The transmit powers on these warp boards we can vary from minus 22 dBm to 8 dBm. They use antennas such as those we see on the walls popping out as black uh, points. We could control the input to these work boards using serial port connections such as these ones. And we can program these devices using compact flash such as these ones as well as USB ports. So now let me explain what we have on, uh, on, these, uh, uh, on these boards as the video demo. Four of these laptops are being used as transmitters that are sending a pre-encoded video stream to a common receiver laptop, which is this one. Right now you can see that all the videos are being played more or less smoothly uh, because we have set the transmit power such that uh, they are uh, being transmitted at a high enough rate. Now as we saw in the presentation, PSNR is one of the metrics that can capture the video quality as perceived at the end user. However, we also know that PSNR does not faithfully capture the quality because it's a frame-by-frame -frame metric uh, with respect to the differences in pixels. But PSNR is very simple to implement and that's why we have chosen PSNR to measure the video quality. One of the factors that PSNR depends on is whether the frames are being received and decoded correctly before the respective deadlines, which in turn depends on the wireless channel gains, transmit power, collision, interference, and so on. Accurately measuring all these parameters without much overhead is almost impossible. So what we demonstrate here is that using power control as a tuning knob, we can satisfactorily control the desired video quality by measuring only the received signal strength intensity or the RSSI, which is being piggybacked from the receiver to each of the transmitters using the acknowledgement packets. These RSSI values act as a proxy for the SINR or the signal to interference plus noise ratio. In the next few minutes, what we will see is the following. We'll use the keyboard controls uh, in particular the keys capital U and U to control the inputs to the serial uh, to control the inputs to the warp ports using the serial uh, ports and we'll set a target PSNR for each one of these videos. First we'll show that setting a small enough target PSNR for a low dev video still plays it pretty well and smoothly on the receiving laptop. We'll then increase the PSNR to a higher value which will in turn kick in a power control loop and will make the video even smoother. Next we'll do the same process for a high def video and we'll set a very low target PSNR. We will see that the received quality degrades severely and the video might get stalled as well. That reflects that PSNR is a nice metric which can capture the end user video quality. The power control loop that is kicking in automatically is based on the RSSI difference that is being measured at the receiver. So if at time t the power from transmitter i is pi of t, then at time t plus 1, pi is incremented or decremented based on the difference of the RSSI value which was measured at the tth instant. Next, my teammate Jospat will show that the interactive feature that I just described previously by setting the target PSNR and uh, and observing how the video quality decreases over time. Thank you. Okay, as Amitabh just mentioned, uh, transmit power is a physical layer parameter that we have uh, in our control, and we 
indirectly controlled part by using uh, PSNR or target PSNR that you can specify at the transmitters. So what I'll do is that uh, on the transmitter, I'll, uh, on a terminal program on the transmitter, I'll decrease the transmit power uh, of this video. And you see that, we shall see that uh, the quality of video here gets distorted or stalled. So right now I'm uh, reducing the transmit power of this uh, video. And here we see that uh, it gets distorted, uh, or uh, for the most part, it gets stalled. Now, we can revert that process and uh, by increasing the power again. And we see that uh, the video is able to uh, play again uh, as it was in the beginning. Now, I'll repeat the same procedure for a, low, uh, so a high depth video. And, uh, We should see a similar, um, a similar thing. So this video gets distorted, as you can see, but uh, its quality will come back to normal when we increase the power again. And you can see that the video is back to uh, playing as it was before. So we here we see that if we can adaptively uh, adjust the transmit power, we can uh, one, more effectively use that uh, power, and two, uh, guarantee a certain quality of, of, uh, of video at the receiver. Thank you.